Hello YouTube, this is Bowtied Media, and today I have a very special reaction. It is Grant. Grant is one of my top five favorite artists of all time, so I'm so stoked. In that list, by the way, Daft Punk, Eden, Mr. Fijiwiji, Tristam, and Grant. And so the fact that Tristam and Grant are both releasing stuff around the same time is just a miracle because they don't often release a ton. But this song is come out, I think, probably the fastest time b b in between any releases. Fix It just came out pretty recently with Run, and I loved that track. Uh, and so we're going to get into Won't Give Up. It's uh, it's about three minutes, or it's three minutes, 2.59, uh, future based track, and uh, I have no idea this is the first time I listened to it. And uh, let's just jump into it and see how I react. Are we all just lost at sea? Sinkers when I'm looking for signs, still got hearts we feel them. Very different start from anything that's really cloud. When I don't Ooh. believe in myself, you see the best in me. And I know sometimes Real emphasis on those hits. So promise me through good days and the bad, even when I'm sad. Say you won't give up. Will you love me and my words, even when it hurts? Zone vocals, obviously. Love that. Okay, where's this going? Whoa! Okay, okay! Ooh! Big fan of that section. Okay. When it's heavy inside of my heart, everything that I told, I'm holding it here in my arms. When I don't believe in myself, you see the best in me. And I know sometimes I mess up, so promise me through good days and the bad, even when I'm sad, say you won't give up. Oh, bringing the pace back in. Whoa. Okay. Fun little out. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, that was uh, that was really fun and interesting. I, I say that pretty much on every track that I do a reaction to. That's because I, I really I pick tracks that I, I love that I know I'm going to like from artists I like. I should say. Um, Okay, my initial thought, uh, Fix It is better than this one, just comparing the two. Uh, it's similar art style from the two, and if this would become an EP, I wouldn't be surprised, or even, an, I doubt it would be an actual, an actual album, but if that if this were to become an EP, I, I could see that, especially because um, Grant's using a ton of uh, just common themes and where he's going lyrically and narratively in these last two tracks of more diving into who he is emotionally and what his feelings are, um, and just... Yeah, and so it's a lot more than what it's kind of been with Grant before, um, where it's been this kind of brighter, happier feel. Um, and not that it's not that, but in terms of where he's going lyrically and narratively. Um, the song actually didn't have a ton of, uh, it wasn't like as high and as bright sonically as he normally does. It's not like the, the classic like, melodic future bass that I would kind of describe Grant as. 
Um, it was a lot. Uh, it was like lower. It wasn't quite like bass lower, if that makes sense, but it was more like mid-tone where it didn't quite, it didn't have those really high hits that like uh, Grant is really known for and does a ton in his production style. Uh, and I liked it. I, I didn't, uh, it's it's not something right away. So when I first heard Fix It, I was like, holy crap, this thing's amazing. Classic Grant. I love it so much. Um, I don't have that initial initial reaction with Won't Give Up, uh, but obviously I, I need to, to give it some time before I really let it sit in. Uh, I need to listen to it a few more times, but I really did like it. Again, I didn't love it as much as Fix It, uh, but it was a lot of fun. There was that one section where he let it, the song breathe a little bit. He just like kind of um, said the one line and then like stopped, stopped the whole track and kept it going. Uh, I really wish he would have used that uh, kind of theme again a second time or even a f uh, four times throughout. Um, I think it really, with what it was, the track was trying to convey lyrically, I think it, it did a good job of doing that in the moment. And I, I would have wished it had a little bit more of that. Um, that was a that was a really good track. I liked it. Um, I need to give it another listen, and then I'll come back with some final thoughts. Okay, the one thing I will say off the bat is, even though I do like Grant's vocal style and his vocal delivery, um, I definitely prefer a female vocalist with him more so than his own vocal. Uh, I think Where Will You Go is a super exception where somehow that just everything worked together so well. But um, just like Fix It, I kind of would have preferred a female vocalist on this, maybe like a Run or a Juno. Just, yeah, I don't know, something about it. Just, I, I love the, the difference in track where it has a female vocalist with Grant's production style. For me, that just feels like a one-two punch. Um, and so I'm glad he's kind of mixing up in the grand scheme of things and doing a little bit more of his own vocal stuff. Um, but I do prefer when he works with a female vocalist uh, more than so when he's not. Um, the second uh, drop, I think, hit a little bit harder than I expected it to the second time around. I don't know why. I might have turned it <laughs> up in my headphones too much. Uh, but that first little section where it kind of goes the little back and forth chain, uh, I don't even know what the the technical term for that is musically, um, but it worked really well. And I, I wish it would have been a, a harder hit like that in the drops rather than, um, it felt a little soft sometimes I think in the, when it came to the drops. But um, yeah, I mean, ultimately I really did like the song. If I were to give it a rating, I would probably say it's either like a high eight or like a low nine. I need to give it some more time to think about it. it isn't This isn't an instant classic Grant song for me right away, but I mean, I still love it. I'm a huge fan of this. I would listen to this more than like 80% of music out there right now, maybe even 90, 95%. Um, 80 was too, too uh, not generous, I should say. Um, but yeah, so that was it. That was my reaction to Won't Give Up by Grant. Let me know what you guys think of this song in the comment section below. Did you like this more than Fix It? Do you like it less than Fix It? Where does it rank? Can you see this being an EP in the future where this song and this kind of Grant new style, in terms of his new style of these two tracks, where does it uh, kind of lie for you? And do you like his older stuff better? Do you like these new tracks? I want to hear what you guys want to say in the comment section below. But I've been Bowtied Media and I will see you guys in another video.